Everybody, you are now watching the Carry All Talk Show, Kham Vietna Revolution Talk Show. Here I am, Mr. Kai Mandol, the facilitator in the show, and Bong Kham Vietna is the host of the show. Actually, the show has been done for many years, but in Khmer language. And now it is the time for us to make a difference to transfer it into English in order to share what we consider as the foundation of all things, especially for the critical thinking. And Bong Visna is going to give you all the introduction of the show before we go further about what we're going to tell you for the next show. And now I want, I would like to give the stage of the talking to my Bong Visna. He's going to give you the introduction, please. Everybody, welcome to my show. This is Cambiasna Revolution Talk Show. I initiate this show because I want to provide you the critical thinking. According to uh, my experience with Cambodian people, they get a lot of benefit from my explanation. Now, I think it's time for me to go a step ahead, forward, to all of you because I think it's enough already for Cambodian people because I have been providing critical thinking to them for 13 years so now it's time for me to go beyond Cambodian people to go to the world because I think it is very useful for everybody that listen it, listen my explanation carefully. You will get benefit from my explanation. Actually, I don't ask you to believe me because I don't need believer. I don't need the follower. I just provide you the critical thinking. I just give you my explanation to all of you. You can use your own brain to think about my explanation. It's right or wrong, it's up to you. It's my duty as a person who knows the truth, know the value of life, know everything that I consider as a knowledge, a real knowledge. So when I get benefit from what I thought. I cannot be calm. I cannot be silent. I want to share all knowledge to all of you, not only for Cambodian people, but for the people around the world. All the idea or the view, the opinion I will give you, for me, I think it's a revolutionary idea, revolutionary concept, revolutionary opinion. So of course, it will go again, the old concept that the people use around the world nowadays. So of course, I am so clear that it will create controversy. But if you listen for me, to listen to me carefully, and we are honest, to find the proper agreement. Of course, we will read the agreement because we have our common sense. We have a, like, our conscience. We are a human. We have a brain. So if we, honest, we are honestly talking, discussing together, we will reach agreement, of course. So all the idea that I raise and consider as a useful idea, a critical thinking idea, a, a critical idea, of course, I just provide you about my idea. You have a chance or you have a right to consider and decide to get or not. You can go against me. My duty as a person who know, I tell you already. 
So my duty is finished. This is what I think in my feeling, in my feeling, not in my brain, but in my feeling. I feel that I finished my duty already. Because as a person who know, who get benefit from what I thought, I cannot be calm. I have to share it to you. For Cambodian people, the critical thinking that I provide them focusing on three things, three main things. One about politics, second about philosophy of life, and the third is about law of nature. But for the people around the world, I think I focus only two things. One is philosophy of life and another one is law of nature. Why I raise the law of nature as a main subject to provide all of you? Because we are living in the nature and we a human as a, are a nature too. So we have to understand, we have to realize the nature. Because we live in the nature, we are, we, we are nature too. So for me, we have to realize this nature. When we realize the nature, I think you will get the foundation of your life. For example, you want to build a house, you have to bring the soil into the lab. For example, to check how many floors that you can build up on this land, you have to bring the soil into the lab. I am not so sure about how to build the building, but for example, just for example, when we study the law of nature, we will read the truth. The truth is considered a foundation of our life. If you want to build our life, we have to study about the law of nature. This is my experience. And in Cambodia, I share this explanation to Cambodian people and a lot of Cambodian people that get benefit from my explanation. So I have no doubt about how important critical thinking is. So that's why I cannot become I have to go a step beyond Cambodian people to go to all of you. I just give you my explanation about the law of nature and a philosophy of life. And you, you are a human. So you have to use your own potentiality as a human. It's your brain to think my explanation right or wrong. And you decide to accept or you have your own idea or you have any doubt, you want to question, you want to raise the question because you want to be clear, that's okay. You can raise the question and send it to me. If you think it's uh, completely wrong, you want to go again, that's okay. But I just want to tell you my intention. I think it's a good intention from the bottom of my heart. I want to share you that knowledge because I think it's very useful. I have no doubt about that idea or that knowledge is important or not. Because I myself also get benefit from my, my knowledge, my experience, and my thought. And the Cambodian people, a lot of Cambodian people that Listen to my explanation, they change their life, they improve their life, they are real improvement, they get a real happiness. So for me, I have no doubt about how important critical thinking is. So I think I have to go beyond Cambodian people because a nation a name of the country, a name of the group of the people, a name of the, the people that live in the certain area we call a country, just a, a word that we put on, on it. 
But some people stick on that word and in their mind, in their feeling. They think their nation or their race or their country are more important than other countries. For me, this is just a word that we are a human. We have to use it in our daily life. That's all. It does not mean we put the name of the group of the person in to live in the certain area like a country, Cambodian country, as a person that more important in your feeling. Like me, I am Cambodian. I just say I am Cambodian because I born in this country, in Cambodia. But in my feeling, I don't think Cambodian people or Cambodian country is more important than other country because we are a human. But in our daily life, we have to use that word like my country, my race, my language to tell you about who I am. I am Cambodian. I use my language. That's all. It's not mean my country or my language is more important than other. Not only a country, even my son, my, brother, my daughter, just a, like the word son or word daughter, just to tell you, to express, this is a person that I give a birth to. That's all. It's not mean they are more important than other. For me, this is not only something that happened in my brain, but this is my feeling. I feel like that. We are a human. We are a human. This is my feeling. This is my country. This is my son. This is my daughter. Just a word. Not mean I feel it is important for me. Because of people consider that their country, their son, or their nation, or their race, or their language, everything that, con con that, that related to the ego of one person are important for them because of this thing that there are a lot of world in, the, in our world, in our planet. So that's why after I think about the stupidity that created by the human, I want to provide critical thinking to make the people have a foundation to judge all of your decision. I don't ask you to believe me. Don't believe me. Just listen to me. I explain you with causality to explain you about cause and the effect, about the reason why I say that, why I say that, why I refuse that, why I accept that, why I take this, why I don't take that. I just explain to you. You use your own brain. I think if you listen carefully and honestly, I also listen carefully and honestly the reaction from all of you. After you listen to me, we will reach the agreement. We will reach the convention that we understand this is true. This is right. Reasonable idea. But I'm so clear about not all the people that listen to me will understand, will, will reach the agreement. Because according to my experience, with the Cambodian people, not all Cambodian people that listen to me agree with my idea. But that's okay. Because as a person who know, who get benefit from my experience, my knowledge, my thought, I cannot become. I have to share to the people, not only in Cambodia, but for the people around the world. That's all. My duty is finished already. My conscience told me that, remind me that my duty 
it finished already. This is the way, the characteristic of my work. I have to do like that because I cannot ask the people, all, all the people, to accept my idea. And when I think it is completely right, I cannot do that. But if I have ability to do, like I'm a god, I can do that. I won't do that. Because I respect, first I respect a human right. We are a human. We have a right. We have our own right. You want to listen or not, you want to accept or not, it's up to you. It's your right. I respect your right as a human. And as a can, I respect a potentiality as a human. You are a human. You have your own brain. So you have to use your own brain to accept or not. It's up to you. I respect all of you. I'm not a god. I don't follow the way that the god do. The god always uh, give the advice to people. Don't do that. You have to do that. Why? Because I am a god. And some people bring the word of the god and tell the people that believe in any religion and say that this is the word from the God, the leader of your religion. This is the way that the God do. I refuse the way that the God do. I am a human. You, all of you that listen to my explanation, you are a human like me too. So I respect, first of all, you are a human. You have your own rights. That guaranteed by the uh, the United Nations. And the second, you have your own brain because you are a human. So you have a potentiality as a human is a brain. I also have a brain, so I'm not a god. You are a human, I also a human. This is my good intention to all of you, that's all. I want to tell you, I want to share you, I want to explain you. That's all. I don't ask you to believe me. I don't put any pressure on you. Sometimes when I my, like my word or my sound or my tone, I express that like I put any pressure all, on all of you. But it's not, it's not mean that. But just my intention. Because I know and so clear about that my idea it's very useful. So I want to say this is a good intention only, not a pressure. And when you hear my voice or hear my tone, or you think, you think, oh, Vesna want me to listen to, to, uh, to him. No, no, it's not my way. Just express my good intention to all of you as a person who get benefit from my knowledge. So I have to share that knowledge to all of you. The way that I did, not to the people around the world, but the, for the people in Cambodia also, this way. I just explain you. I don't ask you to believe because I don't need believer. I also don't need the follower. And you have to use your own brain to think. And you decide to accept or not is up to you. But if you are a good person, you want to be clear because you listen to my explanation, you have any doubt, you raise the question. You are a good person, you raise a question because you have a doubt. It's not mean that you understand what I explained you is completely right. But you are a bad person, you still need to raise any question because my explanation will get will become a benefit to the listener when the people become clever some people lose benefit <laughs> because they cheat people in this case happened like many times in religion religious people religious leader always get benefit from their believer. When I give 
the explanation, critical thinking to the believer, and the believer uh, are a human. They use their own potentiality as a human. They use their own brain to think. They realize the truth. When I explain them in my feeling, like I give them a life. When they get a life, a light, they are clear. They realize. So the leader of of the religion, religious leader, always like always are angry with me. So they raise the question. It's not because of they have no doubt. They have a doubt. They want to be clear, but because they lose the benefit. So they raise the question. That's why I say, if you are a bad people, you are clear that my explanation are completely right. But you still raise some question because you angry. You get angry because my explanation will become the benefit to the believer to become a lie for a believer. So they don't believe. The religious leader anymore, <laughs> so that's why they are angry. If you are in this way, in this situation, of course, I cannot explain you. And when you throw the question to me, I also can understand your mind, <laughs> your intention. Step by step, according to my explanation, you will understand who I am. For me, my ideas not go again only a Cambodian people, but I'm so clear that will go again all the people around the world, especially a famous person, like a motivator, educator, a famous person that provide critical thinking to the people around the world. When I listen to them, I found. A lot of mistake, a lot of flaws, flaw in their explanation. So, I want to raise that mistake of the famous people around the world to explain to all of you. And of course, I know I'm so clear that I will. Meet a lot of obstacle. I don't say I will meet a lot of enemy, but I just say a lot of obstacle. But I am happy to to meet that obstacle because if I feel worry about my security, something related to my benefit in my mind, in my feeling, I feel. If because I get fear, something related to my benefit, my self-interest, and as I I don't go out to tell the people the truth by explain them, I think my life is gone from the world already. Even I am living, I am alive. This is my feeling. So I have I I have to go to the public to tell. The people. This is my life. I choose this way as my life, my way, the way, the path of my life. Okay. For the next show, we will raise the certain topic to explain you. We have a lot of topic. You can imagine in Cambodia. I explain Cambodian people in certain in certain year. So it's not only one topic or several topic, but a lot of topic. All the topic express in Khmer language. But now it's time for me to go to the world in English. Even I'm not so clear about my English. I'm not fluent in English yet. 
But because of my good intention, I had to go a step to the world. At least a native English speaker understand my feeling. They don't understand completely my explanation, but of course, they will understand my feeling. I want, I want, I have a good intention to share that knowledge because I am so clear that knowledge is very useful for all of you. You will get the benefit to improve your life, to, to like, to build up, to create a proper path for your life. I have completely different idea or different definition about the successful life that the famous person around the world give definition to. We will discuss more and more, more and more about something related to our life for the next show. This is uh, my introduction, that's all. Thank you very much Wong, for your introduction about the show. Everybody, <coughs> for what you have listened to the short introduction of Wong Mishna, I think you feel there's something more that you have to know. I just want to tell you that I am one of hundreds of thousands of people in Cambodia who get benefit from my explanation, especially critical thinking. And I can say I have changed my life and I hope you will enjoy, listen, and get benefit from him for the next show. Thank you very much for your listening today. Thank you. <laughs>